Network Intelligence Center is Google Cloud's solution for network monitoring across the cloud and on-premise. It improves user experience, security, and operations by providing a comprehensive platform for monitoring, visualizing, and troubleshooting network health across the cloud and data center. Connectivity Test is a module in Network Intelligence Center that enables you to do network verification, which is a key part of intent-based networking. The idea of verification is to ensure that the intent of the network designer is being met. It also allows you to move from reactive to proactive network operations by predicting what could happen when you make a config change, thus preventing network outages. Published sources show that 75% of network outages and performance issues happen due to misconfiguration. In a complex Google Cloud environment with shared VPC, many firewall rules and routes, it can be difficult to quickly identify which configuration caused a connectivity issue. Connectivity test enables a user to test connectivity between a source and destination endpoint. It also tells you if the connectivity is broken and identifies the root cause, such as a firewall rule or route config. Connectivity test performs a static reachability analysis by building a model of the network and then doing packet simulation on the network based on configuration. Let's see how you can use on-demand connectivity tests with the help of three different examples. Say you've run into connectivity issues between two VM instances in different zones in a project. You can check the connectivity between source and destination endpoint by creating a connectivity test. Click on Create Connectivity Test. Pick the protocol ICMP. Select a source VM instance or an IP address. Pick VPC1 US VM. And a destination VM instance slash IP address. Pick VPC1 EU VM. And click Create. This saves the test and also runs it. Once the test is run, it shows test result as unreachable. Click on View to check the result details. It shows you a detailed hop-by-hop -hop trace showing how the packet would traverse through the network. From the trace, you can see the packet starts from the source VM, goes through an egress firewall rule, and then the packet gets dropped by the ingress firewall rule at the destination VM. You can click any of the hops to see more details of the hop. Here, if you click ingress firewall rule, you can see that the deny ICMP firewall rule blocked the connectivity. Right from here, you can go to the firewall rule page, update or disable the firewall rule. Let's disable the firewall rule and check if this fixes the issue. Select the test and run the connectivity test again to verify the impact of your firewall rule change and make sure connectivity is restored. After you rerun, the test result shows reachable, which tells you that the connectivity issue is fixed. Notice how easy it was to quickly understand the trace, find out the root cause, firewall rule, and update it and analyze whether it fixes the problem. Let's look at a more complex scenario where there are two VPCs connected via high availability VPN. HAVPN creates two tunnels to provide four nines of availability. We'll test connectivity between a VM in VPC1 connected to a VM in VPC2 via HAVPN. Click on Create Connectivity Test and pick the protocol TCP, Source and Destination VM, and click Create. It shows test result as unreachable. Click on View to see the trace. In this case, you can see there are two traces, which is expected since this path is through HAVPN. Connectivity Test will show you multiple traces if they exist. From this trace, you can see that there is a VPN gateway and the traffic is getting dropped at the ingress firewall rule VPC2 deny HTTP. You can go to the firewall rules page and fix or disable the firewall rule. Let's disable it and rerun the test. And you can now see that the connectivity is restored. You can also check the second trace to analyze the path and make sure both the tunnels are set up correctly. You can also verify connectivity between Google Cloud and on-prem or on-prem to Google Cloud, which could be especially useful during application migration. Here we are checking the connectivity between the VM instance on GCP and an external on-prem IP address. Click on Create Connectivity Test, select Protocol, ICMP, Source VM instance as VPC1 US VM, and Destination IP address Once the test finishes, you can see test result shows reachable, which means the connectivity is okay. You can click on view and look at the path trace to better understand your network design. 
In this case, you can see the trace is going through a NAT gateway and can reach the external IP address. As a user, you can create and save multiple connectivity tests that reflect your intent. Connectivity that should be allowed and those that should be blocked. Here you can see we have created and saved a few different tests. Anytime you make a configuration change, you can run these tests to verify the impact of your configuration changes. For some tests, the intent might be to have connectivity between the endpoints. So you'll see those test results in green. For other tests, the intent might be to block connectivity between the endpoints. So those test results should be in red. Anytime you make a configuration change, you can run these tests to make sure your intent stays intact. Connectivity test provides you a quick way to do network verification and ensure that any configuration change does not violate your intent. It allows you to treat your configuration as code, and you can think of these as unit tests that you can run to prevent network outages and also verify your security slash compliance posture. Congratulations! You are all set up to start using the connectivity test module in Network Intelligence Center to do network verification, quickly diagnose connectivity issues due to misconfiguration, and predict the impact of configuration changes.